everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my April, yes, April, had to think about it for a second, April update for Beauty A to Z. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab. If you were part of the Fantastic Ladies Facebook group, you are very well aware of this project. This is, I can't remember it's third or fourth year. I, I can't keep track of all of them. The years, they, they just fly by. Um, so yeah, we're picking a beauty product to pan for every letter of the alphabet. And um, that is 26 products. If you are using the English alphabet, though some people in other parts of the world are using their different characters for their alphabet, which I think is awesome. I really do think it is awesome. And um, yeah, so it's at least 26 products, which is, is a lot. It is a lot. It is a year long project starting January 1st goes to December 31st. Um, we have quite a few projects that are um, a year long that run that date, but we also have some projects that are year long that, um, you know, start at different parts of the year just to, you know, not overload everything in the very beginning of the year, very, you know, first of the month and stuff like that. So we do try to mix it up a little bit, but we are here for beauty A to Z. And um, I am happy to say that I have some empties this time. I feel like I'm doing really good with this project this year, which makes me very happy after last year when I tried to do all eyeshadow and yeah, last year was a train wreck on so many levels. But this year, I'm doing all right. I feel like I'm doing pretty darn good. So let me show you my empties for this month. The first one was for the letter F, and that is the Not Your Mother's Natural Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Combing Cream. I really enjoy this like a whole lot, and I'm kind of sad that it's gone. This was the last one that I had in my collection, and I'm very sad about it, but I did purchase a Shea Moisture Detangler that um, works kind of in the same manner, so we'll see how that one goes, and um, yeah, but I will miss this one. I may potentially purchase this again in the future, but right now I'm going to try the Shea Moisture because I do like their products as well. I think they're probably my two favorite Curly Girl um, brands are Shea Moisture and the Not Your Mother's Naturals line, so you know how that goes. Um, all right, moving on to the letter V. Um, I finished the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. Um, I did actually open this last year. I had put it in a project towards the end of the year and I knew I wasn't gonna get a ton of usage out of it, but I did open it, I wanna say it was um, like the end of November, beginning of December, and this finally did just conk out a, a couple of weeks ago. These have a lot more product in them than a lot of mascaras that I have tried in the past. So they do last easily four months. I'm not sure if it says how long it is good on here. Yeah, it says once open, this is good six months. Some mascaras say three months. Um, so yeah, it, it was fine. Um, I always know a mascara is, is done for me when it starts to flake. I, I, I can use it for months and months and months, but once it starts to flake, I'm done. I'm done with it. So, um, yeah, that one, I really enjoyed it, but it's, it's not the same as the purple one. I love the purple one. Um, and four, what is the last letter? Why not your mother's Royal Honey and Kalahari Desert Melon? Whoo, I had to think about this. Um, this is the Repair and Protect Shampoo. She's done. I, I knew it was going to be done. There was, you know, only a tiny little bit left. And, um, yeah, in a way, I'm kind of sad that it's gone, but I'm also happy that I'm going to be working on one of the other ones that um, is in my collection, which um, I kind of like a little bit better than this one. So, yeah, like I did enjoy this, but um, I think because my hair type is so different than average, I just need something that's a little bit more. I know that sounds weird, but um, while I truly enjoy this one a whole lot, I, I think it is much better suited for someone with thinner hair and someone that doesn't use as much product as I use. I use a ton of product and it just, I feel like it just, it it's too light for my hair, which sounds crazy for a shampoo. And, um, you know, with this much product that I use, I just, I feel like I have to use too much of this in order to get my hair 
like to the scalp clean like I need it to be because I do have psoriasis like behind my ears and on my scalp so I need my scalp to be clean and this just this wasn't enough it was good it was good but um it's not something that I'm going to repurchase just because others that I've tried are just better so there I put that out there all right, let's get into what I have worked on in the past month. I am not showing you everything that I have worked on, but um, things that I have actually used in the last month. So um, let's see. We're going to start with the letter E. This is the Essence Prime and Studio Mattifying and Pore Minimizing Primer with Black Clay. It's a lot of words. That's why I have to read it. Um, you really can't see through this packaging, and I think it's because it's got the black clay in it, so it is a mid-tone gray when it comes out and it kind of coats the inside because it is a thicker primer and um so I had to weigh it uh last time I was at 38 grams now I am at 31 grams I'm enjoying it um yeah I, I don't know what else to say about it I like it um I still feel like I get oily with this though I I don't think I like it as much as the Catrice one but um I do really like it if if you're just like regular oily, I think it would be fine, even though we aren't even in the hot months yet. But um, yeah, if you're super oily like me, like I just pow put powder on before I sat down to film and I already feel like I'm a little bit shiny. Um, it's just not enough. There's, I'm so extra. I just need, I need more. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. Um, moving on to, let me scroll down. This one, you can't really see progress. This is for the letter K. It's the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper Black. I have been using this for almost two months now and a month and a half, maybe something like that. It's still going strong. I, I've had this, <clears throat> pardon me. I had this from Sephora Play and I haven't had play in years, so it's been hanging out for a while. And this is truly like Kat Von D. It's not the KVD. It's been it's been here that long. So yeah, it's still going strong. Pardon me, I need a little bit of tea. Ah, yes, that helps. Lemon tea. If your throat's a little funky, lemon tea is your friend. Um, moving on to oh, this one has very good progress. This is for the letter M. This is the Avon Bay and Eucalyptus Fresh Refreshing Hydrating Mask. And look at the, the progress. I was here last time. I am here now. If I mask like I should be once a week, then I should be potentially finishing this by the next update. That is my goal to have that one done. That would be super nice. So nice. Sorry. Movie references are always just running through my head. Um... Ah, another one that could potentially be done by the next update for the letter O. This is the Echo Style Olive Oil Styling Gel. If it's not done, it's going to be super stinking close. I was here at this line last time. And now I am right there, right above the Made in the USA little symbol right there. Um, I'm loving this. I, I really like this a whole lot. And um, I might actually replace this one. I have the argan oil one, which I haven't tried yet. Of course, I'm going to try that one first, but um, I really like this gel and it's super cheap. So if you're, if you're into the curly girl method and you use gel and you use a lot of it and you have a Sally Beauty Supply, it's, it's worth a try. It does have protein in it. So if you're protein sensitive, if your hair is protein sensitive, then be aware of that. But um, yeah, this is good. I really like it a whole lot. All right, moving on to, nope, not that one. Not that one. I have a lot of things that I really haven't touched in the last month, which is kind of crazy. Okay, for S, this is the Fang and Whistle Vitamin C Serum. And this one's going to be done by the next update. I was at the red line here. Now I'm at the purple. If you look at the progression, this one should definitely be done by the next update. So potentially three empties by next time. Ooh, that went really bright on me. Um, okay, three more products for the letter T. The Not Your Mother's Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Detangler words, Jessica. Um, I love this. I love this so much. I, I kind of want to repurchase this, but I do have another detangler by, um, Shea Moisture. I, I have got a leave-in conditioner and I got a, a detangler. <clears throat> this is so good. This is so good. Um, I was at this purple line. I, uh, down here, I'm sure this is going to be done by the next time. 
Um, I just, I go through hair products really fast. Body products and hair products I go through pretty quickly because um, I got a lot of body and I got a lot of hair. Um, that sounded really weird when I said I have a lot of body. I'm 5'8", I'm so if I'm using body products, I have a lot more like body <laughs> length and everything else to, um, like if I'm using lotion, I use a lot more lotion than someone that's like five foot. It's just, I got eight extra inches to cover. So um, that's just, I go through body stuff and hair stuff. Look at all this. And it's still kind of wet and I still, still have a lot of hair. Um, moving on to the letter, what letter are we? Um, did I miss one? Yes, I missed the, the G. See? See how I am? See how I am? Um, letter G. Um, this is Goop Beauty, the Microderm Instant Glow Exfoliator. I kept forgetting to weigh this. I have now weighed it. It is currently 91 grams. So we will see next time how much I actually used. But you can kind of see pan up here. Hopefully you can see that in the camera. I am using this, but I have also been using a peel. And um, I... Don't want to use them too close together, like a phys physical exfoliator as well as a chemical exfoliator. So um, I kind of alternate when I'm going to use them. I really like it. I like it. And the last one is W. This is the T and Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Um, this one is from here to here. It's going to be done before the end of the year. I, I have pretty consistent progress on it. Four months maybe five four or five months and and that one should be done but i really think i'm gonna have four empties for the next update which would be kind of cool you know because i'm doing really good with this project i have 10 of 26 done i only have 16 more to go and then if i have four next time that's pretty awesome i think um i do have some products in here like i said i haven't touched yet um some things just you know are conflicting with things in other projects but I feel like I have pretty good progress overall. <clears throat> there goes the voice again. And um, I feel like I'm going to do really well with this for the year. I, I do have some products that will take the entire year to finish. But I'm okay with that. I purposely designed the products in this project to have some done early. Some like later and later and later. And then the progression where it's going to take the entire year. I, I didn't want it to be like a complete slam dunk, have it done in four or five months, and then, you know, the project's over. Um, I, I really wanted to have like a good mix of products. It, I find the updates are just a little bit more exciting if there's actual progress. And, um, you know, I don't, I, hopefully you guys feel that way too. That's the way I like it. Um, I feel like I'm more motivated if I have good progress or empties frequently, but I don't want to feel like it ends too quickly. Hope that makes sense. Anyway, everyone that has joined in, they're going to be listed down below. Of course, if you want to join in, there's plenty of time. There's, what, nine more months and, you know, you can get that many products done, I think. Some people can. I don't know. Maybe if you want to join, we would love to have you. Okay. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.